My name is Abraham Great and welcome to this platform. Here you will learn tips that will help you to connect the dots, destiny dot, business dot, and just be more successful as a person. These tips has the proclivity to move you into action. Now when I mean action, you will do something, you will go out of here or listening to me and actually immediately start doing something and guess what it is working to enjoy more videos for me uh, from me click the subscribe button you know at the bottom here it is working let's go ways to own a big business without going to school let me first of all make this do not assume that i do not want you to go to school you may already have been to school and a degree or have what you have but you actually do not need a school education to own a big business. There are a considerable number of people around the world among the top richest people who actually do not complete or initially have a formal education. So perhaps you're listening to me and you have not had as much education that you want. Don't stop yourself. You can't still have common sense can make big business and a lot of business sense are available and some of which you'll be learning from me today i will say it again unequivocally i do not stop people from getting education i have two degrees myself i have master's degree and you know i am a big advocate for education but there are ways for you to own a big business without even having uh you know a degree now you've got to understand that business is unique and the greatest thing that you'll realize about business is that business has to do a lot with doing it you've got to do you see there is a tribe of people that i know in this world that are mostly successful there is release Israelis could be educated and they may not be educated but there is a pattern of what i call apprenticeship the pattern of apprenticeship where they will actually learn from somebody from a very old age. There are attributes of this uh, set of people that they learn, but they are not the only one. There are Arab people, people from Asia, people from India, people from in Bangladesh, Chinese people, people from Africa. There's a tribe of people that I know that are called the Igbos from uh from from west from nigeria these guys will learn they will be with their uncle they'll be with someone uh that their parents send them to you know the rest of the world may not be like this everybody want to be rich quick everybody want to find a way to get something but these people will be patient enough they will learn the business they will learn a particular trade from a particular person or in some cases they're not even there to learn uh, uh you know by intention, they're just there to serve that person. So what it means is that whatever di uh, 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 direction of business their mentor or coach moves, they move. But what they're doing in essence is that they're learning business skills. Business skills are not learned, they are acquired. I'm gonna say that again. Business sciences are not learned, they are what? They are acquired, they get transferred to you. You've got to see someone do that. You know, you've got to really physically see someone, you know, doing it. And you've got to see the success of the business. You've got to see this, uh, the downside of the business. And in some cases, the failure of the businesses, you experience that and you are learning on somebody else's cost. But here are a few things that will help you to make the most of owning a big business, even when you don't have education the number one thing is that you want to have the knowledge of what you will be selling and to gain the knowledge of what you want to uh you are going to be selling you've got to get in to know that thing and use that thing and the best practice is to work with those who are uh, selling that thing already those who are using that thing already or the product or service being the environment being the environment of the type of business, either product or service, either you make yourself as a volunteer or you actually tell the person that you are shadowing or that you're learning from that, sir or ma, can I learn from you? I want to be able to sell cosmetics to celebrities. I want to be able to um, teach people how to do this and I will render my service for you 
for three years i'll be your graphic designer while i'm learning this or i will be your office assistant while you're learning this guess what the man at lacandra uh this is how it came about serving a chemist and that is how eventually it got the formula he bought from his boss the formula for coca-cola the rest is history today do not uh underestimate the power of a apprenticeship now you can have all the things that you're doing and you're still learning something else from someone you can be an apprentice to someone you know in some cases i've had situations where people are already married they have children and then they say oh you are a fashion designer i want to learn how to sew or i want to learn to court or i want to learn how to design clothes and okay they say okay you're going to do this for six months we'll see twice a week or you're going to do this for one year and that arrangement that pact make this person to have the knowledge you learn how to design but you also may learn how to distribute how to market so do not underestimate the power of uh, 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 of ap apprenticeship but if we put this video into context i said number one you need a business education number one you need a business education so the business education means that whatever the product that you've decided to sell you really want to get as much information as much first and knowledge of that product now whatever you don't know you cannot sell properly once you understand the product of service the spirit of that product of service enters into you and then the workings of the business is something that you are learning from your shadow or from people the next thing that you really need if you will build a big business without having education is that develop your network the network of people that you know now there are two ways that you can develop this kind of network you have the social media uh, the social network or the the digital uh, media or digital space network and you have the ground network which is the normal interaction with people now the number of people that knows you or that you know determines the way you can sell the reach you the people you can reach if you are people shy you cannot run big business be every business thrives on people people will make you rich if you want to be rich don't chase money seek to know people the people you know will make you wealthy or the people you know will make you poor there are people that will take from you and there are people that will give to you when i mean give to you not necessarily they're giving you money and here is some of the education some of us don't know in life you are with people they may not be giving you money but their environment may be changing your mentality or the things around them may be uh, making you a better person and sometimes we do not play pay values you know i did a, 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 a professional course on roi which is return on investment and one of the things that you do in that methodology of return on investment is the ability to measure the intangibles you know that somebody prayed for you you may not know how tangible that is someone gave you an information and eventually you went on somebody coached you somebody mentors you on how to dress you may not be able to see how tangible that is in presenting and branding yourself now you are a millionaire but you do not know that you are a combination of the people that have come into your life to tutor you to help you and sometimes the people that's called you the people that correct you the people that say that's not how to do things they are Probably one of the best people that is coaching you to know how to run things in your life so don't escape this kind of people build a huge network you want to build network upward you want to build network downward you want to also build networks sideways what do i mean by that you want to build a network of people that are doing better than you in life in every area of life spiritually financially business wise somebody that know business more than you not necessarily the part the type of business you want to go to but generally they just know business more than you find them work with them learn from them and take advice from them but you also need to build a pool of network don't be shy to build your social media platform if you have 10 people following you on facebook if you want to market what you have you have 10 people whatever method you can learn everywhere you can learn you can learn from people like penjun you can learn on the internet you know if you type penjun on the internet you'll be able to learn a lot how to grow your social media network how to have more subscriber how to have more followers and all of these things 
will help you to be able to sell organically to the people. If you have 1 million followers, the day you write a book, the day you have a cosmetic to sell, the day you have uh, a pen, you may want to sell a pen. You have 1 million people to look at the picture of what you are selling at that moment and a percentage of them. Now, there's always a school of thought out there that said 3% 3 3 of the people in your circle will probably be able to buy from you. So if in real life, you know 50 people, if you are able to market to those 50 people, there's a chance that you will have a success rate of minimum of 3% of those people. If you have a million people that are following you, they are organic, they are real, not fake followers, that there's a chance that in a lifetime, you'll be able to sell to minimum 3% of that. Now do the numbers. So you really want to work on building a strong network. The next thing you need to own a big business is that consistency. Never give up. You will fail along the way. You will face some challenges, but never give up. You've got to do what you're doing consistently. You know, if you fall, rise again, try again, do it as many times as possible. Guess what? When you're building businesses, people will laugh at you because you're going to make a lot of managerial uh, 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 errors. You're going to make a lot of leadership errors. You're going to make a lot of business errors. You might even make some investment errors. Uh, so, but do not let the detractors, the people who are specialists in finding what you cannot do, or the people that are especially in talking you down. Some people will walk away from you. Some people will say, you know, I don't want your service anymore. Some people will even say, I don't want to work with you anymore. It may be because of your fault and it might be their own fault. Guess what? Delete them from their memory and just move on to the next thing and just believe that you've got the universe and you've got your creator, your God, your helper is with you. You're going to rise again. You're going to get it right one day. Just keep on going. Do not let your idiosyncrasies, do not let your weaknesses, do not let what you cannot do stop you. Do not let what people say get at you. Do not let your current bottom line get at you. Keep on building, keep on building and keep on building. And guess what? One day you realize you wake up, you have this X amount of staff, you have X amount of uh, uh, people. One day I wake up and I look around me and one day I have 6,000 square foot office with people working in different rooms. And I look at myself now, I have different offices in different parts of the world. Now it did not start. I started being an entrepreneur from my teenage. I've failed at some businesses. I've worked with some, run some businesses with some celebrities. I've succeeded in some. We have failed in a few. But guess what? I keep on going. You just keep on doing what you are doing. Never give up. Do not, because you failed in one business, don't start business again. Try another one. Or reinvent the one that you failed at. And you realize success is in you. Guess what? It is working. For more video, please subscribe to this channel. It is working.